Hi everyone, let's go over my bullish and bearish Elliott Wave scenarios on Bitcoin starting on the medium time frame where we're now looking for multiple 4.5s to finish a bigger impulse and then a 4.5 in white, 4.5 in blue and eventually a 4.5 in wave green for then a bigger retracement to the downside. Currently then working on the end of the blue wave 5 where the 0.618 is a target for this wave 5 at about 43k which is in confluence with this yellow target box over here here between 42.9k and 43.6k. Eventually we're then looking for a wave 4 in green to the downside and what is something that is interesting about wave 4s is they do like to retrace to the wave 4 of a lower degree. It's not a rule, it's not a guideline, it's just something that you see very very often. Also, something that you saw with the blue wave 4. The blue wave 4, this triangle over here, retraced to the price section of the white wave 4, which acted as support, which is the blue box that you see on my chart, taken from the highest point to the lowest point of this white, lower degree wave 4, compared to the blue wave 4. Now if we then select a box from the high of blue 3 to the lowest point of blue 4, we get the green box over here and if the green wave 4 likes to retrace to the price section of the blue wave 4, then this is the target area to keep in mind between 38k and 34.7k, after which we're then looking for a move towards the upside and in this area we do have some additional support areas as well. We have the blue box over here, 37.2k to 37.4k, and then 36.3k to 36.5k. After that wave 4, we then want to see a wave 5 to the upside. Now, if you then look at this latest impulsive structure to the upside, then this over here is the count that I'm going to keep my eye on. And currently, we hit the two trend-based FIB extension which is a nice target as well for a way three for a little bit of resistance usually with each of these levels you see at least price reaction reacting a little bit so we have a one two continuation to the upside waiting for a three to end eventually four and then a wave five to the upside now wave 3 can extend quite far so it's always difficult to know exactly when a wave 3 is finished because the small ranges that we have over here can still be wave 4s of a lower degree where this is a 2, potential 2, potential 2 so then you expect eventually a 4, a 4, a 4 and only then you get the 4 of a higher degree which is then the yellow wave 4 right but at least the 1.618 41.2k was passed tends to be uh, retested which happened as well in that case either usually a range below or a range above in this case a short range above increasing probabilities to move to the two if we can pass the two as well then probabilities increase to go to the 2.618 at 44.1 k now if we're looking for a wave 4 of the same degree compared to this wave 2 which means that this wave 4 has to be at least around like the same length in time compared to this wave 2 here then we are currently looking for these fibs and a little bit higher here we're looking for a target area between a 41k and a 39.5k where the invalidation for this impulsive structure would be price retracing to 38.9k the 0 0.618 that is not a level that you like to see so in this case we want to see price continuing to the upside in a couple of four fives once again if we then look at the volume and the structure of this move to the upside, then on my chart here on the Coinbase chart, what's interesting is that the volume is a little bit slacking. The average volume is increasing over here, but you can see a couple of one twos, volume pretty stable. You got the three to the upside, but price, the, the volume is not really moving with uh, with price to the upside. However, John in Discord showed me a, a chart of Binance, where in his case, he is looking at the same count towards the upside but on his chart the volume here was increasing so thanks John uh, for notifying me as well where this is also what you like to see right if you're in a wave one wave two looking for wave three to the upside you want to see that volume moving to the upside as well which on his chart is the case and then he's basically looking at that same count one two in yellow same yellow count as I have basically then looking for eventually a three four and a five now this chart was posted in discord uh, yesterday so arguably we already have this four in and that five in currently working on that blue wave four right but i'll go into more detail in a second so what we're looking here is a typical 
impulsive structure you have your couple of one twos over here then you get your way three to the upside and then you're going to get your couple of four fives which tends to be like a grind towards the upside right complex structures complex corrections but still making some higher high higher lows however volume then tends to move to the downside so this is now something that we're going to keep our eye on as price is starting to range now when we then look at the structure of this impulse you see a couple of impulsive five wave moves to the upside that i did with the polyline over here this one so first of all the one in white is likely already finished a lower degree one two three four five wave structure to the upside where now we could be looking for the red one so basically what you're looking at here is the impulse in different degrees so the green impulse here is the one two and then we expect a bigger three four five but inside this wave three we then have the yellow five wave count right where we're looking for a one two and then a three four five in yellow and then inside the three in yellow you get the point right so basically the white one definitely looks finished currently possibly then working on that red one right now if price would dip too deep and hit the 0 0.618 because these fibs are correct they are taken from the low of two to the current high that we have right and i'll go into more detail in a second in a local folder but you don't want to see the 0 0.618 hit at 40.1k in this scenario here if we go to the impulse and we jump to the lower time frame here then we have a five wave structure of course wave one wave two potentially three in four and eventually wave five now the 2.618 acting as resistance twice if we pass this the three is an option and then we go to the 3.618 but at the moment finding some resistance over here for this wave 4, we want the wave 4 to be of the same degree as this wave 2, so preferably the same amount of time as this wave 2 as well, or longer. And if we then take a fib time from the beginning of wave 2 to the end of wave 2 and put it on top of where price is right now, where it made its high, then the 1 to 1 is sitting at Wednesday the 6th of December at 5 a.m. And the 1.618 is on the 6th of December at 11 p.m. So 6th of the uh, December could be an interesting day for the end of a wave four if price continues to range a little bit longer because then again there might be a couple of one twos in here as well so we could still expect some four fives to the upside before starting this wave four but hey we're at least looking at some areas of interest and especially the invalidations because for this wave four you don't want to see price going to 39.2k with these fibs taken from the low of two to the current high that we have now more locally on the 15 minute price is having a little bit of a retracement to the downside which is absolutely fine now over here we had a nice zigzag to the downside as well a very very nice exe uh, executed abc hitting the target perfectly which is the one-to-one -to, -one to the 1.236 trend base fib extension taken from the high to the low of a to the high of b which uh, is absolutely brilliant so a nice three wave structure here for then one of those wave fours finishing another wave five towards the upside here another impulsive structure currently looking for a retracement to the downside now it's not completely clear yet if we're then looking for an abc or a wxy we need a bit more price action for this in in particular right but at least we are on top of the 0 0.236 these are the red fibs again right that are taken from the low of this range here to the high we have at the moment and you can see the 0 0.236 has been respected nicely with a bit of a bounce over here which is a common target for a wave four of that degree if we're looking for a one two three four and eventually continuation the maximum target would be the 0 0.5 at 40.8k no problem to dip candles below as long as you kind of like close inside don't really like to see higher time frame like one hour candles close below the invalidation of this degree would be at 40.4k if you look at these cvd divergences then we had both bullish and bearish cvd divergences locally 
Now, as I'm recording, price is having a bit of a, a move to the downside. What we did have here, the bearish CVD divergences and these bullish ones already played out. So we had higher lows in price, but we had lower lows on the CVD. Bullish CVD divergence, the target was this high, which got taken very nicely. So these were neutralized. And then we see the bearish CVD divergences on the chart. And this is then what we were looking for here. Higher lows in price. Look at blue, lower low on blue, bullish CVD divergence and then on yellow lower higher price higher high here on yellow on the CVD bearish CVD divergence currently a little bit of a move to the downside if it continues just a little bit more this would be the target of the bearish CVD divergence now this bearish CVD divergence is with an in-between high as I like to call it I prefer to see divergences with the actual lows and the actual highs but they are still important to keep in mind however if price does move towards the upside after taking the low or immediately that doesn't matter then i do keep an eye on potential bearish cvd divergences with the actual high over here now we also have some news uh, today 4 p.m central european time we got some high impact news it's the red flag so it might increase volatility so make sure you trade safe around these hours and if we then look at the probabilities of the different scenarios then on a medium time frame we're still looking for upside but of course we're now in the 454545 area uh, also here more locally we're still looking for that wave three to then eventually finish uh, after a couple of wave fours on the lower time frame we're on the lower time frame i'm at least looking for this yellow box Box to be hit at a given moment where inside that yellow box we have some additional resistance being the weekly naked point of control at 43,450 that is my most important level in that area and on the micro we can say a couple of four fives have now started so we can expect more ranges to come but like a still a grind towards the upside until potentially invalidations are hit but i'm still looking for that golden target box first where we also have a potential then wave five target i hope this video was helpful or valuable to you please check out the most recent educational video i've made about the best trading indicator you can use in my opinion which is the cvd and for now thanks for watching and subscribing and i'd like to see you at the next one bye bye